This is very clever. Fundraising incubator School Days says that more than half of the country's teachers are now over the age of 55 and will soon be heading for retirement. This is South Africa gripped as we report every single year by a shortage of qualified teachers. Well, let's unpack uh, what we can do about this. It's a huge pleasure to welcome CEO of School Days, Paul Esterhazen, uh, here on ENC. Hello to you, Paul. Good to have you with us. So uh, we've been reporting on this for some time. If I have the numbers correct to memory, come 2030 is the year. It's the line in the sand where we're going to lose a lot of teachers. I mean, this is devastating. What are you suggesting is the, the solution here, do you think? Yeah, Gareth, thank you for having me on the show. We're neither creating uh, enough attractive career opportunities, and, and that's the reality of it. It's career opportunities in education. Uh, we, we have uh, an established understanding that more than 50% of our teachers are over the age of 55, which means that they will, in fact, be leaving the teaching profession over the next five years. And the big question that we have on that is that if a youngster in grade 11 and grade 12 says, I want to be a teacher, are we in actual fact enabling that person to step into a career and encouraging them to be there and making it attractive enough? And the view then for me is to say, how do we get business involved in saying we want a higher caliber of youngsters wanting to say yes i want to pursue this as a career and how do we do that well we raise funds and we participate and we have enough by way of models that are out there already with the likes of partners for possibility the adopt a school foundation the shanduka kahisu trust who have modeled around whole school development which says how do we take and create leadership with principles and executive management in our schools that says teachers come to us we've got a career waiting for you how do we encourage them and put them through that uh, we want to model and bring business into the into into play with what we're heading for uh, because when we talk about big business uh, paul i think this is why it's such a clever idea as a fundraising incubator as well one could even go as far uh, and tell me if you agree that this is actually an investment in our educators for the country as well. I mean, is it, is it difficult to get fundraising done for, uh, for your incubator? So we've done incredibly well with school days. Um, in actual fact, one of, our, one of our partners is currently in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. We, we have as one of the backbones in our, in our school days environment and our school days program, uh, DISCAM are partnering with us and have done for a number of years and have seen the need in education to be saying, join the school days program. We've got a platform that says to business, get on board with us. Mm -hmm. We want to model with what's happening in the rewards and loyalty space, and then dovetail that into what we're doing on a platform that says, every rand that we raise in the school days program will ultimately only ever be utilized back into education to pay school fees, college fees, varsity fees, and We've had real support uh, from the likes of DISCIM. Mm. Uh, we're busy with negotiations with Standard Bank and the U-Count Rewards Program where you can convert your U-Count Rewards and pay school fees. So we've modeled that. We've been doing this for a number of years. We've got uh, really strong ties and relationships with schools. We have over 800,000 people who've joined the School Days program. And we're now saying to business, we're challenging you come and put your money into this program create communities of your employees and get on board with us to say we want to start creating more bursaries we want to take top performing students and let them become teachers and say we will model a career we will partner with schools we will partner with the likes of those companies that i've mentioned in, in the likes of the foundations and we will say to you there's a career for you so get on board with what we're doing in school days we've built this platform yeah. and it's there uh, Paul, let's, let me ask this as well very quickly because the platform seems to exist I and mean, you've got all these uh, wonderful initiatives which I'm sure big business and it needs to be big business to come in uh, with their expertise but more importantly their money as well. I, I can't help but wonder uh, when it comes to teaching in South Africa, you I'm sure above many other people will know the terrible headlines that we have when it comes to the abuse of teachers by pupils, uh, how difficult their jobs are, how badly paid they are, the various uh, issues they're dealing with every single day. No textbooks, no water, no electricity. Uh, uh, sell the idea to someone watching now, perhaps their youngster getting to the end of matric now, maybe wants to be a teacher. How do you convince them this is the career to go into? Last question to you. Well, they're all too readily and all too easily discouraged from entering the profession because teachers will say, 
don't enter this profession, you're not going to be looked after. And we're saying, enter this profession. Come and be on board with us. We want to keep teachers teaching. We want to ensure that bursaries are made available to students who have the aptitude to teach and have the ability to teach. And when schools get it right and the management of schools gets it right, and the public sector partners with government and the Department of Basic Education has always welcomed that, we're saying we can address this and we can address the inequality that currently exists and we can address these issues. And how do you do that? You get executive management. The Partners for Possibility Program says we've proven it. We've turned schools around and we will continue to do that. How do you do it? We'll do it one school at a time, but we'll do this collectively. And so mm -hmm. hence the fact that we've gone into this industry to say we've got a platform. We've got the way, we've got the means to ensure that the funds that are gathered and garnered will be channeled into the delivery and the outcomes to give careers, future careers, where teachers will be rewarded and teachers will have a career that will have a meaningful impact on the future of this country. And we have to do it now. There's no time to wait for this. Mm, no, there, there isn't five years before you know it, Paul. You and I are going to sit here again and talk about hopefully the, what the successes will be. Because teaching, not just a career, Paul, I'm sure you'll agree, uh, teaching a calling as well. But we've got to get the youth to see it as a calling, not just a career. Uh, very briefly, I'm going to, I realize now I'm going to get yelled at on social media, Paul, if I don't ask you. Uh, someone watching, a small business, big business, uh, wants to get involved. Where do they start? It's called school days, but how do they get hold of you? Please don't give out your cell phone number, but how do they get hold of you <laughs> i won't do that go to a website schooldays.co.za and partner with us express your interest and ask how you can partner with us and we will embrace that and we will ensure that we take it to fruition so yeah schooldays.co.za um, that's the place to go and that is us. the place to go and it's hopefully going to change the lives of many uh, future teachers and many future pupils in the years to come because uh, 2030 is not far, uh, not far away. Paul, what a pleasure talking to you. I appreciate it. Uh, Paul Esterhazen is the CEO, CEO I'm sorry, of uh, School Days at schooldays.co.za. Couldn't be easier if you tried. If you're a big business and you'd like more information, just head over to their website as well.